The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today we're going to talk about rapper Lil Baby was arrested last night in Las Vegas for uh, uh, possession of a firearm um, without a license. Um, he's being held on a $5,000 bond as of last night. He probably got released. Um, this pretty much is breaking news. Um, the one thing that's crazy about this situation is, is that... Um, the fact that Lil Baby was in Las Vegas and he ain't got no security, and that's what I don't really understand with these rappers. They make all of this money, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all can go spend four, five hundred thousand on a chain, a watch, a car, all of that. But when it comes to you securing your future and your freedom, y'all don't want to invest in that. You know, a lot of rappers go by the culture, oh, I'ma have my homies with me, this, this, and this. All right, if your homies ain't licensed to carry or he ain't got no permit for that firearm, he gonna go to jail right along with you. So how much sense do that make? And it's crazy to think that a lot of rappers don't take the time out to invest in getting armed security. Here it is, little baby probably make millions of dollars monthly. What is thirty, forty thousand dollars a month? Maybe that's how much it costs. Probably you can probably get somebody. You can probably get people cheaper than that nowadays. You know, but. You know, I hope and pray, little baby, you know, this situation go away. I know he definitely is a convicted felon, um, but I know definitely in a lot of states, you know, they didn't change the law as far as, uh, you know, felons being uh, able to uh, purchase firearms, you know, as long as you don't got a violent felon. Um, I don't know how his case of work being that he got locked up in Vegas, but he's a resident in Georgia. So I don't know how that'll work. But they already said that he didn't have no permit. So hopefully, you know, it ain't no, 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 no dirty strap or nothing like that. Um, thank God that, you know, it wasn't no switch or nothing like that. Because if it was, he'd have been charged with, you know, he'd have been charged with it. But baby just got to move smart, man. You know, um, why come all this way? You know, he came from the southwest part of Atlanta, you know, came from the projects to make make it to being one of the hottest rappers right now, making millions of dollars monthly. I know he is, you know what I'm saying? To to want to get caught up in having more legal issues, you know what I'm saying? But I just hope and pray that, you know, uh, little baby don't, you know, uh, he don't, this don't turn to no felony where the feds try to pick it up and stuff like that. Because we know how, like, when you a famous rapper, man, and nowadays, man, they, they targeting them left and right. Especially if you already a felon, a felon, you know, the feds love them type of cases, you know, they, is it, they either like the slam dunk case or they like a celebrity case. And being in the fact that Baby is a celebrity, man, and he a convicted felon, you know, you never know where this can go. This can go right or this can go left. But that's, his, that's why Baby should have had armed and licensed security because there's no way, bro, that you make all of that money and... You just gonna walk around and think that you gonna protect yourself or your homies gonna protect yourself, bro. That's to me, that's just a, a ignorant way of thinking, you know. But it's consequences to all actions, you know. Um, so I wish little baby the best, you know. But I'm pretty sure he bonded out right now. Five thousand ain't nothing. I'm pretty sure, you know, baby didn't spent that in Vegas. You know, we all know baby love to gamble, so I'm pretty sure he didn't spent that already in Vegas, but. Like I say, man, I, I I wish baby the best, man, but I hope and pray that a lot of rappers, man, use this situation and learn from it, man, because I don't know how many times we're going to keep use, losing young black brothers or a young, young man to the system, man, for, for careless and, and, and small m mistakes, you know? One mistake, you want to move around and protect yourself with, with a strap because you famous when you could be paying armed security. I'm pretty sure if, if Baby went to Las Vegas, I'm pretty sure he didn't spend a lot of money in Vegas. Whatever you spent in Vegas, man, you could have used that to pay for security, you know? But we never know how this situation may go. Uh, somebody may claim the strap and Baby may be good. But even then, if it was in his possession or it was in his arm reach, he still is a convicted felon, man. So it's a, it's a sticky situation that can go left or can go right. And by him having the name, I see a lot of these situations always going left. And then he, on top of that, he's a convicted felon, you know? 
but he ain't on like no parole or nothing like that. Um, I believe he finished up his parole like probably like three, three, four years ago. He finished it up. So, you know, um, we just going to see how it's going to go. You know, I'm going to definitely keep y'all updated on the situation. But, you know, we all going to keep uh, baby in our prayers, man. You know, like I say, man, I wish him the best, man. But I hope I hope from this day going forward, you know, he used this as an example, man, how to move different because you can you can move around like this if you want to. But it's always consequences to, to every action, you know, so I hope and pray that he learned from this situation. But um, it's your boy D's Media signing out, man. But like I say, man, rapper Lil Baby, man, was just uh, arrested last night in Las Vegas uh, for possession of a firearm. Um, without a permit or without a license, um, he would he had a five thousand dollar bond, which I'm pretty sure by now you know, little baby, he got that. You know, I'm pretty sure he made that bond. But peace, positivity, man, network growth, man. Let's say these kids, man. I love y'all so much. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media, you feel me? <laughs>